Cousin Jim out here in uh, 45 feet of water. The wind's still blowing 15 to 20 miles an hour today, but it's much better than yesterday when we caught a pile of small snappers inside. We just dropped a 25 pound block of chum into the water. We're anchored up. We've got some live shrimp going out. We're gonna cut some ballyhoo and see what happens out there. We're gonna have some fun. Rick's got a red hind. Beautiful little fish. Look at the teeth inside that mouth. All right, John's on. What you got over here, John? A whale! Coming up from the deep. Pretty nice looking fish. What is it? Oh, a parrot fish. Unbelievable. We can catch those at the dock all the time. However, folks, this one is going to go free. He's legal. You can keep him, you can eat him. But this one's going free. All right, Rick's on. What you got, Rick? Oh yeah, nice hogfish. This is a hogfish. And he may be legal, we're gonna have to measure him. He's very good eating, he has to be six inches. It's, I mean 16 inches. Look at those teeth there. They change colors very rapidly. Very beautiful fish. So we're gonna let this one go, but that's a hogfish. Corner. Keep going. Then just reel it in and spread the line on the reel. I got a fish. Huh? You got a fish. Small. When you when you got six feet of line left before the fish, then just flip him into the boat. Okay? I say so. Flip him in. There you go. That there, folks, is a Cerro mackerel. Good job, John. Very good job. Now he's extremely toothy. Your boy in Hawaii will be proud of you. Yeah, slime your dick. Woo! Sashimi, baby. Sashimi. That is a, here, hold him up. Just hold him right there. No, just like he had him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so this is a Cerro mackerel. You see how he has the uh, yellow stripe down his side? That's what makes him a Cerro. If he just had spots, he would be a Spanish mackerel. They look exactly the same, but this one's a Cerro. We're gonna put him on ice. We're gonna have him as sashimi right off the cleaning table. Great catch, John. What do you think? It's fun, fishing.
Yeah. That one's probably not. You got one. There you go. You got him. You got him. Yeah. Mangrove snapper. So it's easier if you leave about five feet of line. Okay. And then that way the fish will come right to your hand at the reel. Yeah. Yep. Got his shrimp. Little snapper. Alright John, what you got? A fish! <laughs> He's fighting, baby! Woo! There we go, porgy. porgy. We got dinner. Woo! Porgy? Yep. We got dinner. Beautiful looking porgy. Good job, John. Mangrove. Alright. There you go, John. You got the big one, John. Or he went in the hole. He might have went in the hole. There he He's is. out. You got him. You got him? Don't don't hold the line. Okay, give him slack. Give him slack. Give him full slack. Give him full slack, John. Go ahead and open it. Let it set for just a second. Now try. Do that one more time. That was a big mutton snapper. Just let it swim. Got him out? Yeah. Got him out. Good job, John. Good job. Way to way to play him. Yeah, grab the net, Rick. And bring him, keep your rod tip out over here on this side. Keep, keep him coming. Nice grouper. Okay, you can lift him in, I think. All right. It's a red grouper. Here, it's back on. Alrighty. So anyways, John's got a red grouper here. It's not grouper season, so we can't keep him. But look inside that mouth. He's got just super, <laughs> he had his mouth open. He's super, super orange down inside. But this is a red grouper. You can tell by the spots on, the, on him. And we're gonna let him go right now. Nice fish though, John. Getting a bite, Rick? Hammering, buddy. John's got one in the back. Oh. All right. All right, little red hind. All right. Good looking red hind. Sweet looking fish. You getting a bite, Rick? Push out. Push wait, out. wait, let me get in place. Push out. What you got, Rick? Woo! All right, grouper. red grouper. Woo! So we just pulled up a red hind and a red grouper. Good job, guys. <laughs> Good looking fish. Not grouper season, so they're getting away, but we're having fun. Okay. All right. Good job, Johnny. Woo! What you got? Massive grunt. Massive grunt. 
Good job. What you got, Rick? Oh, a baby black grouper. Cool. Little baby. Uh, little baby black grouper. Well, I was going to show you a black grouper, but he got away. There's John. He's got the ultralight now. I'm John. Yeah. Oh, another grunt. We tried fishing in 100 feet of water, then we went to 80, then we went to 60, then we went to 45. We're now here fishing in 15 feet of water. We've had the most action, but it has not been a good day for big fish. Caught a few grouper, caught some mangrove snappers, nothing keepers. All right, there's another grunt. He was eating a strip bait. John's back in here pulling in the grunts. At least we're bending the rods. 